Hi second graders, we are going to be learning how to do some work in Google Drawing. So you're going to start by going to your email, you're going to click on the waffle, and once you're clicked on the waffle then you're going to select the button that says drive. It's going to pop up and it's going to look just like this. I probably have a lot more things in my drive than you do, and that's okay. What you're looking for is this button over here on the left hand side that says new and it has a plus sign. You're going to click that button and all of these little things drop down right here, this whole menu of choices. You're going to click at the bottom where it says more, then you're going to very carefully slide it all the way across until you click on this red square that says Google Drawings. You're going to get a new drawing. What we're going to draw today is a pumpkin. So the very first thing you want to do when you open a new drawing is you want to title it. So you're going to click here and you can title it with your name. Um, so I'm going to write Mrs. Hamblin's and then I'm going to write the word pumpkin. Now remember, if I close this page, this is in my drive. So I don't need to create a new one. I just need to go back and I would type here Mrs. Hamblin's pumpkin and then it would pop up down here. So don't make a bunch of these because you don't want to have 20 of these in your drive. You can keep working on the same page. So you're going to start by clicking on this little button right here. It has a circle and a square and it says shapes. You're going to go down where it says shapes and you're going to go across and you're going to choose this circle because this circle will help us to draw a pumpkin. Now I'm clicking and I'm dragging the button to make the pumpkin as big as I want it to be. Now I'm going to let it go. The other thing you can do if you don't want to click and drag is you can click on the shape, click on the circle. Do you see how there's a plus sign right now? Now if I just click on my page it gives me a circle and then I can drag and make it bigger. Now something that some people do is they, they go right here, they go like this and then look at what happens to their circle. Yikes! I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to go to the back button right here. If you want your circle to stay exactly like it is but just get bigger, you want to grab one of these uh, corners. So you can go right here, right here, right here, or right here. So if you notice my arrow right now, this is called a move it arrow because it has four arrows. And then when I go down, it changes, and I don't want that arrow, I want that arrow. Now I can click and I can drag and I can make it as big as I want. So if I want, I can actually make more than one pumpkin. So I'm gonna put another one down here. Now, pumpkins are not blue. Um, pumpkins, well, sometimes they're different colors, um, but we're gonna make our pumpkins orange today. So right now it's blue. Um, I have to click on it. So I've clicked on it, I know I'm clicked on it because I can see this blue outline around it. And if I go like this, it's not there anymore. So I need to click on it. And when I do that, all of these things pop up up here. So look at, when I'm not clicked on it, I'm missing all these things. When I click on it, here they are. Now, right here, there's a little paint bucket, and you can see that it's blue right now. If I click on it, then I can choose the color that I want. Um, so I chose the first orange color. I'm going to do this pumpkin, and you can choose a different orange color if you want to, maybe make it a little bit lighter. Now, a pumpkin should also have a stem. So I'm going to go back to the shapes. I'm going to find the rectangle, which is the first one. Remember, I can just click and it will pop up. Now, that's not really what I want my um, stem to look like, so I'm going to have to resize it. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to grab the corner. I'm going to drag it in a little bit, and I want maybe want mine to look like this. Now I'm going to get the move it arrow. That's the four arrows, and I'm going to click, and I'm going to drag, and I'm going to put my stem right on top. And then I'm going to come up here. It has that blue outline around it, so I know that I can change the color. So I'm going to choose a nice green color for my pumpkin. Now, if I love this stem, I can actually copy it if I want to. So I can click on it so it has that blue line around it. And then I can go up here and click on the word edit, copy, edit, paste. It will give me a second one and I can just take that stem and I can use my move it arrow and I can drag it and I can drop it right on top just like that. Now you don't have to do that if you want to if you want to make a smaller stem you can just come right back up here and click on that uh, rectangle and you can make a stem once again like you did before and you could maybe choose a different color for it this time. So 
I'm going to get rid of this one. If I don't want um, the one that's on here, I click on it, and when it has that blue outline around it, then I'm going to click the word that says delete that's on my keyboard. So I, I'm going to do that, and then it goes away. And then I can drag this down, and I can put this on top. Now I'm thinking, oh, I love this pumpkin right here, and I think I want another one on this side, so I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to do edit, copy, edit, paste. And then I can drag this pumpkin over, and I can put it on the other side. I can click on the stem. I can do the same thing. I can say edit, copy, edit, paste. And then I have another stem right here. Okay, so second graders, your job today is to practice getting shapes, to practice using edit, copy, edit, paste, and to change the colors of the shapes. I made three pumpkins on mine. You can make as many pumpkins as you want on your page.